Creating your own cocktail recipe is certainly an art, but there's also some science behind it. By understanding the characteristics of your drink, such as the ethanol content, acidity, and sugar levels, it's surprisingly easy to build a balanced cocktail. And to really make things easy, I've actually built a tool that you can use today, and I'll show you how in this video. But first, gotta give credit where credit's due. A lot of the research and data from this video come from Dave Arnold's Liquid Intelligence book. If you're into the science of cocktails, highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description. Let's also quickly cover some basics, starting with ethanol. Ethanol is the alcohol found in alcoholic beverages and is measured in percentage alcohol by volume. You'll also often see the alcohol proof on the bottle, which in the United States is equal to twice the alcohol percentage by volume. So in this bottle, it is 100 proof and 50% ABV. Next, let's talk about acidity. And in cocktails, the acid content is likely gonna be coming from fruit juice like lemon and lime, which have about a 6% acid content. To balance a cocktail, we're likely gonna involve sugar, which often comes in the form of a simple syrup like this. We're gonna measure sugar in grams per 100 milliliters here because we need to measure it volumetrically. And finally, we need to talk about dilution, which plays a huge role in the final cocktail. Whenever you shake or stir a cocktail, you are both cooling and diluting it. And all cocktail recipes account for some level of dilution. So let's see this in action. Here we've marked 100 milliliters of cocktail in this gigantic graduated cylinder, and we're gonna pour it into a mixing glass and stir it up for about 10 seconds. Now we're gonna pour it back into the graduated cylinder and we see that the cocktail is now well above the original line before we stirred it. We measure dilution in percentage and this 100 milliliters turned into 130 milliliters giving it a 30% dilution rate. And dilution can actually go up to 60% in some cocktails. Okay, let's get that torso out of here and jump into the calculator. So the cocktail calculator is built using a Google spreadsheet. If you're going to get started with it, note that you have to first go to File and make a copy and save a copy of yourself to edit it. First thing you'll also do then is select your units of measurement, whether you want to use US fluid ounces or milliliters. And let's test this out by making a daiquiri. It's going to follow a three-step process to building a cocktail. So step one, select or search for your ingredients from the drop-down list in column B, then add measurements in column C. So we know that a daiquiri is made up of rum, lime juice, and simple syrup. Let's start by adding those in. Type in rum, select 80 proof rum, and we'll add two ounces of that. You can see already that the characteristics we talked about earlier automatically pulled in with 40% ethanol, which relates to 80 proof. Now we add in some lime juice. You can either search for it or start just typing it. And we will add in 0.75 ounces of lime juice. You can see it's about 6% acidity. And then finally, some simple syrup. Add in one ounce of that, and we'll see how that comes out. You'll see the volume weighted initial totals here below. And that brings us to step number two. Select the type of cocktail and note the technique involved. This step is important so the calculator can compare your results against the average for that type of cocktail. So a shaken cocktail tends to be more diluted and also sweeter, while a stirred cocktail tends to have a higher alcohol content. These calculations also assume that you are shaking or stirring with four 1.25 inch cubes for 10 seconds. Okay, back to the calculator. We know that this is a shaken cocktail because it has citrus in it. So we'll make sure shaken is selected from this drop down option here. And then we're done with step two. On to the final step three. Review the final cocktail attributes and try to ensure they stay within the expected range for that type of cocktail. So for shaken cocktails, there's a certain range that we would expect for dilution, final volume of the cocktail, ethanol percent, sugar, and acid content. And this is based on the average of about 45 classic cocktails. So what we can see is that this is a bit under diluted, not enough ethanol, and a bit too sweet. About 11 grams per 100 milliliters of sugar, and that the expected range is somewhere closer to five to nine grams. So what we can do is go back up here 
and reduce the amount of simple syrup to say 0.75. This of course makes the cocktail less sweet and by reducing the volume makes the percent ABV a little bit higher, more in line with the average for these cocktails. It's worth noting that just because a cocktail is out of range, that doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's a bit of an outlier from the average. Some people like their daiquiris a little more sweet. Now I just want to quickly show you this reference data tab here at the bottom. So if you click here, it'll take you to a new tab where we actually see all the source data that was automatically pulled in when we entered things like rum and lime and simple syrup. So you can see common spirits, all the data behind them, things like sweeteners, acids, juices, bitters, vermouths, liqueurs, sodas, and others. Now this isn't a comprehensive list and we'll continue to build this out, but what's also neat is we've included some notes and pairings here. So if you want to start building a cocktail and say you want to build a rye cocktail, these are some notable pairings that tend to go well with rye that you can use to start to build that cocktail. Finally, I want to show you this change log. So as of recording this video, we're on version 1.01. .01. This will almost certainly update as I get feedback from you guys, and we'll update the version number and include any changes since the prior version and the date that it's changed here. So I'm hoping this tool can help get you started in trying to build your own cocktails. I'd love to hear how it goes for you, so please share any feedback. Note that it's not a perfect science. There's still things like bitterness that are hard to measure, there's always going to be a bit of an art to building these things, but this can help get you started. I've posted a link to the cocktail calculator in the new community tab on my channel page. Click this calculator icon or the link in the video description to check it out, leave me feedback, and share any recipes you create. Patreon patrons will also get a bonus video where I go deeper into the calculator and walk you through a cocktail that I built using it.